Hi, it's Manny again coming to you from Rebecca, Word of Faith Christian Center. This morning I want to share a beautiful scripture with you. Matthew chapter 22, verse 36 to 37. And the Bible says here, he had just dealt with the Sadducees, Jesus that is. And so one of the Pharisees, uh, which the Bible says was a lawyer, <laughs> asks him a question, but the Bible actually says, asks him a question to try and trip him up or try to test him. And he says, teacher, what is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus, I believe, I'm adding some, some extra po poetic uh, descriptions. I just believe Jesus without a doubt and without even thinking about it or blinking his eye just said, um, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And I think Jesus did that because this guy was trying to trick, trick him concerning the law, and the law can get very tricky. You can ask any lawyer. Uh, sometimes you stand on one law and you find another law supersedes that law. And so when you get legalistic, you can get yourself into a web of absolute nonsense and trouble. But he tries to trick Jesus with this and ask him the question, which is the greatest law ever? And Jesus says, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. And I believe Jesus did this because he was fully convinced of the love of the Father towards you. And so what he was actually doing was saying, hey, for this love transaction for this love uh, relationship this love affair to be to be at its best you are already getting the full love of a lover uh, that created the entire universe you're already getting that i know jesus is saying i know that that's guaranteed all you need to do is bring your side to the ball to the table and and love him with all your heart mind and soul and when you do that and you love him because uh, we could never outlove God. But when you love him uh, uh, with all that you have, it completes this love cycle and this love affair. You see, we sometimes think about life so much, uh, or at least this re relationship we're in, Christianity, we so much think about it as religion. And religion needs to be broken because religion doesn't get you anywhere. Religion won't break the yoke over you. Religion won't bring salvation. Religion doesn't bring healing. Religion is dead. But the relationship, the space where you come, where you come from relationship, that brings life. The Bible speaks in John 10.10, 10, I've come to bring life and life more abundantly. So when he says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind and soul, Jesus is literally saying to them, I know that the lover is giving his all to you. He needs the beloved to just match it. Not match his love, but match in terms of giving it all. So my encouragement to you today is love the Lord with all your mind, heart, mind, and soul because he loves you right until the very ends of the universe. Let's just pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, give everyone the revelation that's listening to this word right now that you are a lover, that you are love, that this relationship we're in is not a bunch of rules or a religious uh, a journey, but it is a love affair, O oh God, and that you are wanting for us just to do one thing, and that is to love you with all our heart, our mind, and our soul. And from that place, everything else will flow in Jesus' mighty name.